Well, hey there, all you property preservation maniacs. How's it going? It is your friend, Chuck Taylor, from The Taylor Shop, coming at you again with another vlog. How you guys been doing? Uh, it's probably been about a month since my last vlog, but I gotta tell you, things are gonna be picking up with these vlogs and this, uh, you know, extremely valuable information I uh, provide to you at no charge, no uh nothing you know to pay for any of this and it's all highly valued information and uh you know i i like to do my part to help guys out but uh yeah it's been extremely busy for us this year um i've said it in the last couple of vlogs uh this has been the, one of the busiest starts to any year we've ever had and uh, which is great listen i am not complaining one bit i love the work i love to get more contractors get more volume keep guys happy keep guys growing and expanding that's absolutely wonderful we love every bit of it but unfortunately due to the fact that we've gotten busy i've had to you know put out less vlogs but that's going to change because what we're going to be focusing on or at least what i'm going to be focusing on is is not not only just making vlogs but let's make them a little quicker let's let's try to get right to the point um you know if anybody knows me knows that I can uh, be a little long-winded um, if you will uh, however uh, you know not without merit or value or, or a plethora of property preservation information but nonetheless you know you're busy I'm busy you know let's kind of get right to the point so uh, without further ado uh, this one I wanted to talk about due dates workflow and staying off the radar uh it's uh you know pretty fundamental uh aspect of property preservation yeah due dates i know i've heard it they're, they're gonna issue the order on a friday due on a sunday what are you gonna do get the order done on friday <laughs> sounds ridiculous doesn't it well i mean it get them order get these orders done as soon as you can in this day and age you're, you're receiving orders throughout the day you're receiving them via email generally and that email is most assur assuredly going to your phone or your you know if you're at a desktop or whatever but nonetheless you're being notified most likely everybody has their emails uh, directed to their smartphone if you don't you need to immediately so when you get that order you need to get it in the field if you have a procedure protocol if you have a data entry person uh, order entry person you need to get that order entered and you know if you're using ppw get it in ppw get it to your guy asap um in my my opinion order entry and order distribution is uh one of the most uh important and sometimes lack uh, you know functions of this industry because the faster you get that work order out in the field the faster it's going to get done now you know your guys are already out in the field right of course so he gets that order it might be you know he might have had a schedule however he might be down the road from that new order and why not just go knock it out because you're right there because look it, you know it, it's good to get an order done a day or two ahead of the due date versus getting all your orders done late and then you just look bad so yeah he might have had a schedule of say five work orders to get done and then one came over that's kind of like you know i don't want to say it's a wrench in your system but it's one that's coming over and you're th you know and maybe your thought is well i already had a schedule i'm not messing with this i'll get it the next day but if it's in you know the vicinity why wouldn't you go get knock that order out because that order then is going to be two days completed early and you see what i'm saying like it's going to balance out the um you know the 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 late orders that you're going to have let's be realistic you're going to have late orders but if you could get some percentage of those orders done either you know on the due date or even better before the due date or even ridiculously better the day you receive it you know that's going to substantially bump up your percentages with your clients and you're on time and guess what you're going to get more work and then what's going to happen you're going to make more money so it, you know it's you know it might you guys might be saying well chalk this ridiculous because you know it's it's you know it's difficult it's this look if you're not getting it done somebody else is and i'm here to tell you that you know you got to grind you got to get this stuff done i mean there are no shortcuts you you know if you don't work for it then you know you're not going to get it so it's a matter of um you know being organized and and, and getting these orders 
out in the field as fast as possible. Because here's the thing, when the order then, say it gets completed, then it comes to the tailor shop. Well, we go to process the order. And say we're, hopefully, we're processing the order in real time. So your guy finishes the order around, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon, okay? And he sends it to us. Well, we start working on it right away. But hey, he's still in the neighborhood and you know, he's uh, working at another property. And then we're going through the order queue, seeing it, boom, we need a photo of air conditioner, he missed it. We can send that order right back and he could get the he can zip back through, get that photo of the air conditioner, send it back to us, and we can still get that order submitted the same day. I mean, think about it. I mean, if you're getting your orders now, listen, I'm not I I know how it is. I've been in the field, you know, I've 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 done it all in this industry. Now I understand it's it's not always gonna work this way, but you know, the fact that you're you're getting orders uh sent to you and, and you're getting alerted means you should be able to get those orders distributed ASAP. Don't wait till the end of the day. Don't wait till the next morning. Get that order out in your field. Even if, look, even if the guy might not be able to get to it till tomorrow, um, but get it to him as soon as possible. Because look, if you have numerous subs, you're not going to know what their necessarily their schedule is. Get that order to them and make, make them, especially if you have subs, make them aware that you got to get this order completed ASAP. Um, so yeah, you know, hesitation is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a killer in this industry. And that's what I mean by staying off the radar, because I got to tell you, this is a very thankless industry and you know, you're not going to get a lot of attaboys and stuff. Um, generally, if you have a regional or a coordinator, the only time they're calling you is when you have late orders. They're not calling you to say, or if they are, please let me know. They're not calling you to say, hey, buddy, gr thanks for knocking out those 10 orders yesterday and getting them updated. You did a great job. Thumbs up. That does not happen. I know this because I was a regional coordinator, you know, for Safeguard many, many, many moons ago. And, yeah, you're not worrying about the orders that were completed. You're worrying about the orders that weren't completed. So it's your late orders that they're looking at. So if you can lower or, you know, get, you know, eliminate them as much as possible, you know, yeah, you're going to be keeping your client happy, but you're going to get more work and make more money. And you're not going to leave it open for another guy to take over and make you know and start taking work away from you so this is where the tailor shop comes into you know comes into a huge effect because not only do we process your orders better than anybody in this industry um, we do it with more efficiency accuracy and with the tremendous amount of organization than anybody else and we also not, not only do we bring that to the table but we help you become organized we help you get to dialed in and so that you can accept more work orders and we will point out and tell you exactly where your where your you know your weaknesses are and how you can turn them into strengths that's exactly what the tailor shop does um, we take contractors that you know have some issues or or need some organizational skills or need to figure out how to dial things in and we get them help them get dialed in for them and then next thing you know they're growing and expanding like crazy and they're it's, it's almost making their head spin because they can't believe that you know it can happen so easily uh, all you have to do is be willing to listen and change that's all we ask of contractors is a willingness to listen and change and then you know we can tremendously help you get to where you need to go so anyways i don't want to make this one too long like i said i want to try to make these vlogs shorter and more directly to the point and uh, a little less uh you know going around the world uh, but nonetheless that's it get your orders out there get them completed get them get them to the tailor shop and we'll get them updated asap with 100 percent accuracy and a tremendous amount of efficiency um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to be having a contest here really soon. I'm trying to get my, uh, I want to hit 50 subscribers. So uh, if we can hit 50 subscribers on this uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to have uh, the first contest. And believe me when I say I'm not going to be stingy. There's going to be a lot of good prizes uh, for that contest. But we got to hit 50 subscribers. And I know there's a lot more than 50 contractors out there. So tell your friends, tell your buddies, tell your mom, tell your grandma. I don't care. We need to get this up to 50 subscribers. That's it. That's a small amount to get it to. Um, help me and I'll help you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.